Hey Hebrew fans, this is Todd. So today we are finally going to fix this guy's legs. I know I've been telling you guys for a week now we're going to fix his legs, but now is the time we're finally actually going to do it. So let me go ahead and do a sound check first. Hopefully it works. Testing, testing, sound check. Testing, testing, sound check. All right. So that seems to work. Let's see. It's like nobody's online yet. If you are online, sound off so I can see who's here and who's not here. And if you're, of course, if you're not, then don't. So um, it's been a while since I've actually fixed a figure because I've just been so busy with classics and origins and everything else that. I had no intention of fixing any more figures lately, but then I realized that this guy was broken. He was just sitting in my box, broken, and it's like, oh man. So let's go ahead and take a look at his brokenness, and let's break this down, how we're going to do this. So I have a whole bunch of he bands that I bought a long time ago. It's these right here, they're from Lee Toys. Yes, the spiciest food maker on Eternia. That is true. And uh, um, they're made in Argentina. I put a link in the description if you want to get your own. And I bought a few packs of 10. I have this white paper here, which is actually the instructions for about armor. Yeah, man, just so when I took the picture, I, you wouldn't see the black against the black to try to... You, you get the idea. All right, so this is a leg band from a, a donor figure. And a lot of times in the past, that's what I'd use as donor figure parts. And yeah, they could have, but Brave Star figures are actually different height. So even though they could have released him in Brave Star, they would have had to make him quite a bit bigger because Brave Star is a lot bigger than He Man figures, as you can see here. In fact, they're even bigger than classics. So let's see how close Brave Star is to the new figures. Yeah, even the new figures, Brave Star is still bigger than them. So if they were to re release them, they'd have to actually remake him. Not just a straight release. But it would have been cool, though, if they would have made Brave Star the same size as our He-Man figures. That would have been great. I would have loved that. Anyway, so um, now let's go ahead and take a break this down. So first we have this band right here that has to come out of this leg. And the chunk left over has to come out of this leg. So we got to do those right there. See, he still has guns. Look at that. Ooh. Still has his guns and everything. And then, after we get that out, we then have to put in the leg band of the new ones back in there and then thread it through this little hole on top right here. If you can see that little hole up on top there. And then back to the other side. That's the hardest part is getting it through that hole. There's a couple ways to do it. One way is to use some string to tie around one side and try to pull it through. Now, it works great with the O-rings to do this, but I don't know how well it's gonna work with these leg bands. We'll see and find out. Another way is to try to carefully shove it through with some sort of screwdriver, but the odds of you accidentally uh, stabbing it's pretty high. So that's a bad way to do it too. Another way is to use needle nose pliers and pull it through. I'm gonna try that. Now, whenever you use needle nose pliers, if possible, you wanna get the kind that's non-marring, like these right here don't have the serrations on the inside, as opposed to like these right here, because these are kind of rusty too, that have a lot of serrations inside. Yes, tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific time, we all need to be online getting ready to uh, order our figures. That's gonna be cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So first order of business, getting these removed from the figure's legs. So let me go ahead and uh, drop this in the water. Burp. I wonder if these come off on front very easily. Oh, they do. I should have pulled that off first. Let me go ahead and see if I can find some way to fish that out of there. Hey, can you look and see where I put my screen? It's a big plastic black screen. It used to be in the bathroom. I took it out because I was going to use it for this video. I don't know where I put it. I'm missing my giant black spoon I usually use to grab things out of my hot water. What's up tomorrow, Rick? You don't know. If you go to uh, Maddie Creations or Mattel Creations, whatever it's called, they are re-releasing the PowerCon figures, Sunman figure, 
and um, the Triclops voting figure that we voted for. So that is tomorrow. So it's at 9 a.m. and they're going to have limited quantities. I would suggest, this is just, just, just my suggestion, that those PowerCons ones are going to go really quick. And I would suggest if you're planning on getting PowerCon and the other ones, just buy the PowerCon figures, get them in your thing right away, do your checkout, pay the extra shipping and handling, which kind of stinks, I know. And then, uh, um, oh, it broke off. I need a little harder to get it out now. I got to heat it just a little more. I can't believe I've put that spoon somewhere and lost it. Oh, well, I can still use my pliers, I guess, and pull it out. Oh, I found it. It's right next to me. Let me tell my wife so she stops looking. It's right next to me. Sorry. My poor wife is looking all over the house for my spoon. Spoon of power, power, power. Let's see your guys' comments when it's heating up. Well, I'm glad you joined us today so you can find out about it because uh, it's going to be cool. So get your PowerCon stuff first. Close out your order. And then go back and order the other ones. That is, that is my suggestion. Um, so I'm sure the PowerCon stuff is going to go really fast. Now, I wonder what's going to happen with all the people who bought them and then jacked the price up on, uh, on eBay. Because you think about it, I mean, they haven't mailed them yet. And now if somebody goes and gets them tomorrow for, you know, a tenth of the price they paid on eBay, they may be like, you know, I don't want to buy from you anymore. And I wonder how many canceled orders is going to be tomorrow on eBay if uh, people are able to get them at Mattel Creations. Which would stink for the seller because they may have already spent the money or whatever else. But, you know, that's just the way it goes sometimes, right? All right, we got one out. Hooray. Now for the other one. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. All right, let's take a look here. Can't order from PowerCon. Yeah, you're not going to order from PowerCon directly. It's going to actually be on Mattel Creations. And that's where you're going to find it. You know what? What the heck? I'll just pull it up on my iPad so you guys can see. For those that have not seen it yet. So you go to Google. You type in uh, Mattel Creations. Mattel Creations. And then uh, go. And here it is creations.mattel.com and you can see there they got Sun Man which I'm so excited about Sun Man it's about time we're getting him he's actually now part of the official release and then we have the PowerCon um, exclusives are coming too and Triclops all tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time now the prices are kind of spendy so I believe he's $30 let's take a look and see if I'm right uh, do, 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 30 bucks and Triclops is actually pretty cheap. I think he's like $17. So that is actually a pretty fair price considering his exclusive. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. He even comes with the retro style ring too. No way. That's cool. That's really cool. Wow. Well, those are going to be highly sought after. And then, of course, we have the PowerCon exclusives, which we know is already expensive. Let's just see how much we're looking at here. 150 And then Faker also for 60 And then also the um, Grayskull release dun, 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 for 30 bucks. So how cool is that? So for me, I didn't want Faker at first, but I changed my mind. I do want him now. So I'm going to go for Faker. I'm going to try to get another uh, Castle release. And then, of course, I'm going for Triclops and Sun Man. All right, enough with uh, showing you the cool stuff for tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Let's go ahead and see what your guys' comments are. Back to my comments. And we'll pull this leg out. I think, I think the hoard is 150 I think. I don't remember now. I just looked at it a minute ago. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get this leg out of here and pull out the rubber band piece. You know, my spoon is not that great compared to those pliers. Maybe I should just switch and start using the pliers all the time. All right, let's try to get this out of here. Yep, 
you want to bring it around and below so you don't stab it and then pull it out that way. So it's around and down. Now, you don't want to ever use the O-ring method with this figure. Um, I've seen people do it and the O-rings end up stabbing down into the open channel right here because there's not a lot of meat between this bottom and the open channel. So if you try to uh, do that, which I'll light back on, sorry about that. So here's how deep this goes. This is a depth gauge and you can see there's not a lot of room in that wall between the top of this channel and the bottom of that cutout there. All right, so let's make sure we orientate these correctly. This leg goes on this side and this leg goes on this side. Now I've always gone from the right leg to the left leg, so I'm not gonna change that. Let's go ahead and open up this brand new bag of moto connectors. Now these look a little bit longer than the ones I used last time. And let's compare it to the originals to see. And actually, believe it or not, they're actually a little shorter than the original ones that came out of the figures. So that might be a little bit tough to get on there. They are stretchy, so that's cool. So let's go ahead and pop in this first side first. Just take one corner like this and shove it on in and it should just go right in. Now the trick is to make sure that you have it um, a little bit wet and warm still. There we go. One side done, the easy side. So let me go ahead and toss this leg back in there to get it nice and toasty warm while we fight this to get through the middle. Now this is tricky to get through the middle here. You can see I have to go up and through that center part. Now I found sometimes you may have to break out this little piece right here on top. If you do it wrong, you'll ruin the figure, but sometimes you have to do that. It just will not go through. We'll try it first and see. I've only done one of these with this type of connector in the past. Usually I've either used donor pieces or I've used uh, um, the, um, the actual eye screws and screwed them in. So let's go ahead and push that on through. That stinks. My battery's dying on my iPad, which is where I'm reading your guys' comments at. So I may not be able to see your comments in a few minutes. Yeah, my son had a problem with his phone, so he asked to borrow one of my phones. And it's an older phone that I always use for all my video work. And so I use my personal phone for looking at the comments. So this time it's a little bit different. Ooh, I don't want to ruin that. So it's just stuck right up there. Let's see if we can get that out. Hey, look at that. We are making progress. That actually went faster than I thought it was gonna go. I figured I'd be here for hours fighting through the middle of that. Wow, so far, so good. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab that leg out of there. Now that it's hot and make sure we keep the inside a little bit wet so it can slide in there easy. Let me take a look at you guys' comments really quick before my battery dies. I'm really excited about Sun Man. That'd be so cool. All right. So let's go ahead and do this thing. I'm going to take my bent needle nose pliers, grab the top of this. Wow, those are very stretchy. Maybe that's why they're easier to do because they're so stretchy. Let's just, you know what? I don't think I even need the pliers. They're pretty stretchy and let's just jam it in there. Jam on it. Ugh. Oh yeah, that was really easy. That was much easier than I anticipated. Using a donor one is so painful trying to get it to work. Look at that. And we fixed the He-Man figure. Hooray. So they are a little bit softer plastic than the originals. Yep, that goes on that side. And this goes on this side. So if you used a rubber hardening or material hardening tool to measure it, 
you can tell because these are a lot softer rubber, which is actually why I bought these, so I could tell the difference if somebody ever asked me, how could you tell if it's a repo or not? Well, now I know. The way you can tell is the repo ones, that from this brand at least, are softer rubber, and so they are actually uh, a little more stretchy than the old ones were. But that's probably good because they don't get destroyed as easy. Look at that. Hey, oh, there's his gun on the inside. Oh! Do, 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 do. All right. Well, we fixed them. That was awesome. I'm surprised it went so fast. I thought for sure it'd take a lot longer. It was actually way easier than using a, a, a donor one, which I've fought with before. And also it's not stretched out already like, like the donor ones are. It was easier than doing the ones with the, the O-ring and, uh, um, and the screw eye. So that was kind of cool. That's funny. All right. So, Rick, what are you trying to order? The figures or the he bands? Let me know which one you're trying to order because the figures aren't unavailable until 9 a.m. tomorrow. And I still have 4% left before I'm actually out of uh, power on my iPad. Cool. All right, you guys. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, share this video. And, uh, that's all I got for right now. I might do another video tonight because I got a lot of Star Wars unboxing to do. So I might do another one tonight. I know this is a He-Man channel, but you guys know me. I like to mix material media. As you know, I have my uh, cool Darth Vader over there. You can see, see him or not just sitting over there. Let me get my bright light out. Bright light, bright light. There he is. Darth Vader. And then I have my Princess Leia's. And then I have my R2-D2's. So... I like to mix or mix the um, brands, as you know, but I like them all to be the same height, so I have to customize a lot of them. Robot, the dungeon, clear ghost. Yes. All right, you guys. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.